curious guys welcome to the video and in this video we will be talking about batch learning and online learning so without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so generally if you ask someone what are the types of machine learning algorithms he will tell you know like uh, semi supervised supervised reinforcement unsupervised you know but that is not the specific answer this is the answer to the question that what are the types of machine learning algorithms based on human supervision but if we talk about uh, what are the type of algorithms uh, based on whether the uh model can learn incrementally with the incoming stream of data online or not this is not the right answer right so in this video we are going to talk about two types of machine learning algorithms that depending upon whether the model can learn incrementally with a incoming data simultaneously or not right and if you don't understand this uh, concepts uh, like supervised semi supervised then don't worry i got you covered i will be coming up with all these videos and you just sit back relax and if you want to help just tap that red subscribe button because uh, now my subscriber count is single digit and let's hope it becomes two digit that would be really great and also it's locked down so and the subscribers count is feeling very lonely right so uh, whatever let's dive into the video so if we divide machine learning algorithms on the basis of whether it can learn incrementally with a on the fly it comes down to two types one is batch learning second one is online learning so first we'll learn what is batch learning so let's get into it so in batch learning the system does not learn incrementally it is just trained with all all the data we have and then it is pushed to production and it just does what it, it has learned when we trained it first time trained it the first time and then it just applies that it does not learn from the new data does not update itself until and unless we again bring some new data and train the system and off uh, we generally it is done offline because uh, when we use batch learning systems we take you mostly in commonly we use lot of data to train once and then make it online push it to production then when we have new data coming in we store that data and again train it offline and then again push it to production so basically we have to manually update the system every time so it has uh, some some disadvantages right for example uh, Uh, if you want to build a spam classifier and you have some data and you trained it and pushed it online your customers are happy it is doing its job but after one year there are new type of spams and your your model your system doesn't know it is spam and it is just showing to your customers and they are suddenly they are unhappy why because you it is just it has just learned from the data we trained it the first time before one year and it has not updated since so what we need to do is again bring the uh, model train it with lot of data lot of new data and again push it and it will work fine so that's one con of using a batch learning system right so another con of using a batch learning system is that mainly we train our data maybe weekly or on a daily basis and mostly uh, we like we you we use a lot of data we train it on a huge amount of data so it requires a lot of compute power to train you know rigorously on such a huge data then uh, push it to the production so it requires a lot of compute power so this makes it uh, very hard to implement on things like small things like which you carry like for example smartphone or example you know in some distant planet we have we have a robot and it it is trying to learn something it can't uh, rely on gpus because there we have to be energy conservative too so that does not pave the way for you know uh, batch learning to be implemented in smaller devices so for these things you know for computing power for uh, for all these dynamic things we can't use batch learning so we need a very reactive and you know very uh, active solution so that's where online learning comes in so let's see 
how online learning works and how it would solve this problem. So what happens in online learning is that our system learns incrementally with the stream of data coming in, right? So we can do that either on an individual data or some on some small chunk of data, which is called mini batches, right? So this makes the system a very, uh, very fast and, you know, cheap to run because it just uh, needs to learn when the new data comes in, right? So this uh, removes all those problems that we had when we used batch learning. So now we can implement it on smaller devices, right? So this makes our life very easier. And one very good example of uh, online learning is stock prediction, right? Because stock varies very, stock is very volatile and varies, you know, uh, very slightly in seconds, minutes, stock varies, varies. So we can't use batch learning to train the system. Like we can't uh, uh, take all these data and give it at the end of the day. People are waiting to know what is the prediction, what on which we are going to invest. On these systems, we, on this, problems we need to use online learning so just when the new data comes in computer processes it very relax very fastly and just gives you the data okay this is the prediction you can invest there you can't right so this is how online uh, learning helps us so i think this was the video i hope you learned what is online learning and batch learning so if you like the video do subscribe and let's get the task set the target for a double digit numbers right okay so that's the video and see you soon have a great day